Hey guys, it's me Maddie and it is my third year blogiversary. I have been blogging for three years from Maddieology.com and it's kind of insane. Like I can't even believe that three years ago I started this whole thing, which is just kind of bananas. You know, I've never really celebrated my blog anniversary, which is blog anniversary. It's kind of just a word us bloggers made up. But I've never really celebrated my blog anniversary because I never really felt like I had anything to celebrate until this year, you know, between the cotton campaign and just like all the really amazing things that happened within the last 12 months. I kind of feel like I'm starting to come into my own as a style blogger. And so it was really important to me to finally kind of give myself credit in a sense and celebrate that because I really have been working hard and I wanted to make a video to first and foremost thank all of you guys who read and follow me on social media whether it's Twitter or Instagram or Facebook thank you so much because that means the world to me and so I was really kind of trying to figure out what I would talk about and at first it was going to be like this really I guess cliche, kind of cheesy, you know, my 10 favorite posts, you know, that I've done within the last three years. And I think I will still do that post, but maybe in like a written form. Um, but it was really important to me to do a video and then I thought of it and I was like, you know what, maybe I should go over the most valuable lessons I've learned as a blogger, you know. I have three lessons, just three things that I really kind of take with me on a daily basis that have really, really helped me and I'm going to share them with you. But the first one is be yourself. It's so imperative that you be yourself, especially in this style blogging thing because there are just so many different types of people and we all need to be celebrated. All of our personal styles and our lifestyles need to be celebrated. They need to be seen. You don't know who you're helping. You don't know who who you're being an inspiration to and I think that's so important. So whether you're a Rumi Neely or a Gabby Fresh, like you're still relevant, you know? I think sometimes when you are in this style blogging game thing, you see, you know, your top style bloggers and so you kind of, just the human in you, you're kind of just like, you know what, I wonder if I did that, will, you know, will I get that kind of attention or, or will I get a brand campaign in X, Y, and Z? And so the thing is, I really feel like those types of opportunities happen to those people who are themselves. One thing I will say about working with brands is that brands really respect people and bloggers who are themselves and have their own voice. I can tell you right now that in the beginning when I started out Mattyology, I really did mimic or try to mimic those top style bloggers and my favorite bloggers who I saw were doing amazing things and nobody knew that I existed. I promise you, like nobody knew I existed. And literally as soon as I started being myself and kind of voicing my own opinion, people really all of a sudden started paying attention to me. I started working with more brands and I was just a lot more candid, you know, and that really to be completely honest, as soon as I started letting go and being my true authentic self, that is when these really cool opportunities started happening. And, you know, it's almost like I want to be mad at myself for not doing it sooner, but it's, it's really hard. I gotta say, it's really hard to be completely and totally yourself in front of an audience, you know, in front of like a group of readers, you know, but that's just what it takes. You know, you just have to be honestly yourself. So be yourself is the first lesson I would say that I learned and probably still the most important till this day. The second lesson that I would say that I have learned throughout the three years of blogging is not everyone's going to like you and there's nothing wrong with that at all. There's nothing wrong with that. Not everybody's going to like you. I think it's just kind of one of those things that you have to accept, you have to acknowledge, and then you move forward. The key to this is, is focusing on the people who do. You guys who watch me and, you know, read my blog and follow me on social media, you guys literally light up my life, like, on a regular basis. And for a while, I used to let the group of people who didn't like me, like, dictate, you know, what I was doing or kind of even have some type of control over my energy. And you know what? That's not what I'm here for. Not everything is for everybody, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you have to realize that 
anybody who is telling you no or who isn't into what you're doing, you don't need to pay attention to them anyway and kind of be thankful that they're acknowledging that so you can keep them in a group over here and you can keep the good group who do like you and who do love you, you know, close to you. You need to focus on those people. Honestly, it's because of my supporters and my yaysayers. It's really because of that group that when I don't feel like blogging, when I am super tired and I know I haven't put up a post in a week or so, it is because of the people who support me that I get up and I go that extra mile, you know, as tired as I may be. And it really does make a difference. So I think for me, like I said, I'm very, very positive and when I don't when I'm not liked, you know, I think anybody feels weird. You kind of are just like, well, why doesn't this person like me? You know, I try my best. And yeah, I'm not living my life for people to like me, quote unquote, but who doesn't want to be liked? It's one of those lessons that I kind of had to really, I just kind of had to swallow and kind of just move forward with it. It's like, not everybody's going to like you, but shout out to the people who do, you know? So that is a really, really big thing. And I think once you realize that, you move past it and it's really no longer an issue. Last but not least, the third lesson that I have learned in three years of blogging is be honest with yourself. Why are you in the blogging game? Are you in it because this is a hobby? Do you want to make a living from this? Do you want to become rich? Do you want to become famous? You know. There's nothing, there's no wrong answer to this, but you have to be honest with yourself. Like, why are you doing this? Do you want this to turn into a television career or a radio career? Or do you want to have your own clothing line one day? You know, you have to be really, really specific. So if you have a five year plan to be a television host, then break it down. You know what I mean? If it's going to take you five years, break it down by the year, then by the month, then by the week. And you will really start to accomplish your goal. I know for me that I want to do this on an everyday basis. Like, I don't want to go to a nine to five, you know? I don't necessarily need to be a millionaire. You know, if that happens, fantastic, great. But if I can make a substantial annual income from this and talk about clothes and talk about hair and talk about makeup and really help, you know, somebody, you know, maybe make somebody's life better because of that, then honestly, that's me living the life that I love. That was what I had to be honest about. You know, I think a lot of times you see the glitz and the glamour. And I think a lot of people's assumption is always like, oh, you want to be rich or you want to be this. And it's like, no, I just want to do this on a full time basis and make a living off of it. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know. And I think once I became honest, again, those opportunities for that to happen started happening. So be honest with yourself. It's easily something that is going to open your eyes and open up doors for you to be completely honest you got to be yourself not everyone's going to like you and it's so important to be honest with yourself but those three things have really made me a better blogger to be completely honest once i realized them so i just thank you guys so much for reading my blog i'm so excited for the things to come i can't wait to share all of the really cool things that are happening and i can't wait to celebrate another three years you know that will be six years which will be kind of bananas but i love you guys so much for watching and for tweeting and and instagramming and commenting and emailing and just you know being awesome and i don't take anything that you guys have said to me within the last week lightly you guys have had some really kind words to say so if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos and here is to another three years i'll talk to you guys later bye